Hello and welcome to the D1 DLC podcast. My name is Ben. With me, as always, is the lovely Nat. Oh, hello, Ben. How are you? I'm good. And uh, today we have our special guest Aww. presenter, uh, Nick. How are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm doing very well after being called special. How, how are you guys going? Good. That's good to hear, especially yeah. on a Tuesday. Look. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, I love Tuesdays because it's my I get two Fridays every week because I have Wednesdays off. Yeah. So Tuesday is my Friday and Friday is my Friday. So Tuesdays are pretty rad. Awesome. Yeah. No, I I'm just trying to wrap my head around that. Two Fridays <laughs> a week. Yeah. The problem is though, you have two Mondays. So my Monday is oh. a Monday and Thursday is also a Monday. Well, wow, that's counted by double Saturday Sunday. Yeah. If yeah. you've got two Fridays. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't do that. <laughs> Thursday's bad enough as it is without it being also a Monday. <laughs> yeah, I like it because I try and stack my meetings on Thursday. So, and I've actually got meetings with people I really like on Thursday. Yeah, my favorite people well, meetings. Nice. Yeah, so it's kind of nice like to come back just into stacking work. a day with your favorite people. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, that's how I socially engineered my workplace. So <laughs> I don't cry at a double Monday. Nice. Aww. Well, uh, yeah. That's. Uh Let's uh, let's leave the work talk for a bit. <laughs> oh, thank God! <laughs> I'm sure everybody's super interested. <laughs> um, I'm I'm sure they are. Um, what have you guys been up to? Um, in the world of gaming, I should specify that's because you know that's what uh, we're here to talk about. I I've been all about the Switch. <sighs> nice. Like. Is it is the is the switch a, a recent purchase for yourself? Uh, it was a Black Friday purchase okay. last year. Yeah, yep. it was that and Breath of the Wild, and then it kind of got shelved for a bit because I was like, eh, no, many good games. I'll go back to my PlayStation. But I'm kind of what I've done is I've used it as like my indie games platform. Yeah, because yep. it's just great for that. Yeah, it, it yeah, really it's is. perfect for yeah. that. Um, Especially since my laptop kind of died, I was like, all my Steam stuff. Oh just, no. yeah, it, it's a terrible computer, so it's fine. <laughs> it was Fair expected. Enough. It was near, near end of life already. Yeah, when, when like the battery, in order to use my laptop, it needs to be plugged in at all times, so oh. it defeats the portability of it. Yes. Yeah. Look, no, look, I, it's I, a, I can understand that. A glorified DVD player. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens to all the old consoles <laughs> and the old laptops. Yeah. <laughs> no, I um. And I've spoke about this before. I know my computer's on its last leg. Yeah. Um, and I have got a Switch and I've got a PS4, but I do the lion's share of my gaming on my PC. Mm. So I need to replace it soon before it gets dead. Well, before it gets to that point where you're like, I'll load up this game. Oh, wait, I don't meet specs. <sighs> yeah, no, I, I'm close. I'm yeah. close. To that. <laughs> um, it's it's funny because I've I've been uh, playing a bit of Anthem and uh, not Anthem Apex Apex thank you um, how dare you get those two confused oh, yeah because they're <laughs> one of them's doing no. well <laughs> <laughs> and free yeah uh, and the one that you wouldn't expect has mechs in it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. now I've been playing a bit of Apex and um, having a lot of fun with it but it gets to some points where it's like a hectic gunfight and it yeah turns into a little bit of a slideshow which is not what you want when you've got multiple enemies on the screen at the same no. time yeah but you've got friends with you at least two. Oh, you know that that's i'm banking on them being good <laughs> um, and that, that seems to be working out for me so far man i need some of those yeah. I tried to like organize a group of people to play like Apex the other night, and they're like, "Oh yeah, no, nah, let's just play Overwatch." And I was like, "No, this is new. <laughs> I Overwatch. need to play the it's new game." Than Overwatch. Yeah, it's, it's different to Overwatch. It's different. We well, know it's better because it's not Blizzard, and we all hate Blizzard at the moment, right? We... Don't remind <laughs> me that I hate Blizzard. I like Blizzard. I just don't like Activision. For some reason, they're in a relationship no, at the moment, that's and fair. I just I don't like that couple together. I need to break them oh, up. So she's like, it's it's like um, Activision's the partner that everyone hates. Yes. Even in, yeah. in the relationship with but, like everyone's but, 
like best mate. Yeah, yeah, but Blizzard is like, no, no, it's good, it's good. Trust me, you guys don't <laughs> see the good me, side. He treats me well. <laughs> he takes me out to special yeah. dinners. Yeah, he's introduced me to mobile gaming. <laughs> mm, oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Yeah. Oh, so other. I, sorry, I just like to point out there. I'm not ragging on uh, mobile gaming when I agree with you there. <laughs> it's just Activision mobile yeah, gaming. Just Activision. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I did want to say I've been playing a bit of Shining Force on my phone. Well, yeah. Shining Force 2, because that is free. I mean, with ads, just banner ads, that's, but it's free. That's fine. It's free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, it's Shining and no, Force like, 2. Force, like, anything other than just banner ads. It's great. Anyway, <laughs> the, you know the best part about mobile games? Yeah. The little sticker packs you get. Yeah. So you can send people stickers from the games oh, in your messages. Right, right, right. Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. I just don't send stickers to people. Oh, unless it's like a Maybe Power Ranger just... giving a thumbs up, but I think that's more of a GIF than anything. Yeah, yeah. I send them all the time. Must be just me, although I do play more mobile games, so I have yeah. lots of them. So I'm all like, oh, what can I send this person? <laughs> it is good. It is very good. So, what have you been hitting up on the Switch? Nick? Um, I I've, I've been going through like a backlog of games I should have played like last year. Oh yeah, so yeah. So it started with. Like, so it's a bit of a journey on Spotify, like at work when I've got time to listen to music, I'll listen to like video game soundtracks because it just keeps me on task. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the songs that have popped up on this random playlist are from Undertale because it's an amazing soundtrack. I was like, look, it's on the Switch. It's like 13 bucks. I'll buy it. Yeah. And then I played that for a long time doing it. I had to do a neutral run. Because I killed one character. Oh, yeah. Yes. So you can do a pacifist run, you can do a genocide run, and then there's the neutral run, which is like a little bit in the middle, and like the one character that you don't really want to kill, I kind of killed. So it's, yeah. Yeah. It can only ever be neutral. No one's going to love me. Oh. Hey, no, there's plenty of room for grey in the world. That's true, but it's a game that remembers. Uh, (laughs) Like, if you play it a second time, they'll remember. Mm. Um, Does does that mean when you play it the second time, you can still only get the neutral? uh, If you play it a second time, like, you can do, like, effectively three runs. So if you do a pacifist, a neutral, and a genocide. If you do genocide, everyone knows you've done a genocide run. Yeah. Like, everyone in the game, they'll just, like, side-eye you as you're playing. (laughs) Um, we know what you've done. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yep. And it's like it's also got this like built-in mechanic where if you like accidentally kill something and then like reload a save, it remembers. The game remembers that. <laughs> it's like we know what you're trying to do. Yeah. Like thank you, but don't. Is that like uh, Mr. Rossetti in Animal Crossing? I don't know. I never played it. Oh, so if you like either accidentally or on purpose turned off your console before it saved, so say like. You were trying to get something oh, that was right, a luck Rossetti. thing. Yeah, I get and that now. Just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's clever. He's like a little a mole. You see yeah. a mole? Uh, yeah, mole. Mole who pops up when you come out of your house because that's the first thing you do and he's, mm. he gets aggro. Like the first time he's like, yeah, please just, you know, don't do that. But if you do it repeatedly, he gets more and more yeah, aggro. Yeah. And legit, the first time it happened to me, I was just freaked out out i never did it ever ever again oh my god it's uh, learning yeah well, the, um the other thing is like because not that i would ever recommend doing this but um because in animal crossing there's certain things you can only do at certain times of the day or yep. certain seasons of the year yep one could change their system clock <laughs> to a different Time or different day. day. What a horrible yeah. thing to do! I would never, no. ever recommend doing that. But Mr. Rossetti knows. Yeah, well, you're he the mayor knows. of the town. You should be allowed to play with time and space. <laughs> yeah. 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 That, that's that's just really pretty fair. Should be able to get some superpower access. Exactly. If I can't win bug catching competitions, <laughs> I want to I change think, it from autumn to spring. Are you spring. sure you haven't played Animal Crossing? I, I know enough about Animal Crossing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I've been playing a bit of Undertale. Um, I had I'm kicking myself I didn't get onto Hollow Knight earlier. Yeah, because that that's been my entire weekend has yeah. just been yeah. playing that and like learning how to like sword jump, like where you jump down sword to bounce off of things. That like several hours falling into acid pits when there's little <laughs> like armored bugs back and forth. Yeah, and. Oh man, what a game! It's, yeah, it's, it's so well done. It's it's one of those games that's 
tricky, but it mm. has a good learning curve. So you yeah. never, f- well, okay, maybe some of the boss fights you're like, ah, well, but most of the time you're not w- so much. What I really like about it with that sort of like Metroidvania style is just pulling out the map and like he actually pulls out the little map and you can walk around with it. But just going, hang on, there's like more stuff over there. Why didn't I go that way? Why didn't I explore any of that? And it's like, oh, I didn't have like the wall jump or the like super dash or that sort of thing. And it just like exploring little things. It just, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I I, I love that. I haven't played um, Hollow Knight other than, you know, a quick demo and Mm. uh, at Avcon, I reckon probably about two or three years ago. But yeah. um, um, it definitely feels similar, but I, I would have to lean towards preferring Ori in the Blind Forest. Yeah. Um, it, in that you you do get that. I'm looking at the map. Where, oh, look, where do I Why wasn't I next? over there? Yeah. Because um, how do I get past these bits? Quite mm. obvious that there's something over there. So. Um, but yeah, yeah. That is a, that's mm. a very beautiful game as well. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Those are very good games to be yeah. playing on your I, Switch, sir. I had a I had a quick try of another game today that um, I was on a friend's Switch. I'm probably going to get it. It's called Ape Out. Have you guys heard of this at all? Oh, I saw a trailer for it. Michael yeah. showed it to me and I'm like, that seems way you, too frantic for yeah, me. Yeah, you play a gorilla who's escaping from a lab. It's like top down, like Hotline Miami. Okay. It's done mm. in like a... You know, like yeah, almost. I want to say black and white, but it's you know, color is in there. But you've got two buttons: grab and punch, mm. and you just have to fight off guards. And you can grab them and throw them or punch them. And um, when you die, it like pans out and shows you how close you were to the end of the <laughs> end of the lab. And the lab is just like interplaced over the word "dead." Oh, yeah. but like that's... the best part of it, it's got like this like cool. low like jazz almost as you're trying mm. to escape, and every time you like hit something or throw something, it does like a little like psh, with a like the hi hat, the, just a hi hat. Yeah. Just yeah. every time you hit something, it's great. Yeah, okay. no, watching this trailer looked absolutely amazing, yeah. and I, yeah, I don't know, like I was feeling my heart pound just yeah. watching <laughs> it's, the trailer. It's very frantic. Like yep. some of the guards have like shotguns and like if you grab them, like he, he turns them around and they fire out a shot mm. so you can like get other guards and then throw the guard that you've just grabbed. Nice. And some of them are explosive for some reason. Oh, look, I, I think every yeah. guard should mandatorily have, have like... Have like five grenades on, on them. them. Yes. Yeah. yeah. To yeah, look yeah. after a single gorilla. Yes. <laughs> Oh, no, that's really cool. I'm glad you said you've liked it because Mike oh, yeah. was checking it out. So definitely. Yeah, it's we'll well worth it. Get and it, it just, it's one of those games where, like, you play it and you go, oh, no, I died. Guess I'll try again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, not another time. Oh, I guess I'll try another time. How uh, how long are the levels then? Um, I would probably like put if them you at. You would get all the way if, to the end. I think probably maybe five or ten minutes. Okay. I have a feeling it's, like, just randomly generated, but. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Mike was kind of saying it kind of looks a bit puzzly. Yeah, in a that, little bit. Like you've got to make the right decision, but the strategy is all very, very much there. You can't just yeah. like smash buttons. You've got to be thinking as you're going. So yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And it's what, just a game you can't face wrong. Oh no, you can. You can just yeah. like gorilla through, just hitting punch. But sometimes nice. you just you're probably going to die a bit more. Just often. that joy yeah. of grabbing a guard and just <laughs> hurling him into like three other guards. It's yep. like, it's what you want from being a gorilla. Yeah, no, fair yeah. enough. Cool. Uh, this is this is good. This is very good. Um, how about you, Ben? What have you been uh, hitting up? I have been playing, as I said before, some Apex. Um, I've also been playing. Um, Magic the Gathering Arena and realistically between those two not really a lot of new stuff Um, I was streaming on on Wednesday the new Twitch stream Magic Magic Arena um, which I've been having a lot of good uh, good fun with and um, yeah Having uh, having some Apex on a say on a Friday night or whatever with with my workmates. Yep. Oh. Um, so yeah, Magic Magic Arena. It's been going well. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with that. Mm. I think the uh, the game is still technically in beta. Yeah. Um, and I really hope that they um, add some additional modes to it because at okay. the moment it's pretty much just um, you know 
play 1v1 in um, fairly much a standard type of tournament. Yeah. Um, but uh, I've actually been playing a lot of Commander, um, like actual like physical Magic the Gathering yeah. um, with some mates. Um, and, you know, we're all talking about we can't wait until they actually bring Commander into Magic Arena so that then we can play whenever instead of having to organize a, a day of it sort of thing. Yeah. Um, just makes it heaps easier if you can do it. Mm. Just online at online, home in the yeah. BJs. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So your streaming's been going good? Yeah. Um, I've done two streams so far and I'm pretty happy with them. I guess I'm just playing and I'm letting people watch if they want to. Yeah. Um, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's going okay. You don't have any trolls yet? No, because I'm like like nowhere near popular enough for trolls, I guess. Oh look, you I had a troll. I'm not popular. Yeah. You yeah. know, it doesn't it doesn't matter, Ben. They will find you. They will no, hunt no, you down no and they will troll trolls. you. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Like if, if anyone's like you know actually actively keen on trolling, then. Do you have any mods whatever. set up? No, it's it's very. Uh, I guess basic because I really don't know what I'm doing. Get uh, some mods, man. Get some mods. Get some mods. People okay. like the power. Okay. They get a little sword, so they can be the and they can, they person can that lay defends down the your chat yeah. room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good, it's super helpful. I had this guy come in and say some rude things, and so got you know banned. Mm. Yep. And then a minute later, back in another account that had my name in it, plus some things up after it oh, yeah. you know that was yeah. clever enough to get around the, the Twitch uh, algorithms for usernames yeah and I did it about three or four times and it was before I had mods and I was new like two people and I'm like hey you guys are mods now sorry I normally should have like asked this formally like a proposal beforehand <laughs> will you be my mod can you guys deal with this yeah just- yeah yeah just, just ban him as soon as he comes back in um, and that was great that was okay. great I highly, I highly recommend a good mod yeah but only if you get trolls, eventually. Yeah. Well, the other thing you can do is set up your own list of banned words. Oh, yeah. So Twitch is quite proactive with the words that they ban, but there's lots of, you know, clever spellings and stuff that they haven't quite mm. added into the mix yet. So um, you can just add in your own lists just See, to the cover yourself. The problem that I have with that is if I set up a list while playing Magic, I would probably have to ban myself. Well, no, because you're not typing in chat. That's true. I'm just... Come on, though. You'd want to lead by example, though. Yeah. Yeah, keep, yeah. It, keep it clean. Keep yeah. It. Yeah, well, no. Well, no. No, that's, <laughs> no. Not, that's not my stream. Well, you can pick the words, right? You can pick the words. No. Um, <laughs> no one's allowed to say sponge. There, I've said it. I've laid it down. <laughs> that's a, that would Actually, be hilarious yeah. if you just like random words that you just, <laughs> just got redacted. Yeah. <laughs> The, the and I mean that's where I'll start. <laughs> it of what any, any no, conjunction. no conjun- yeah, yeah. no conjunctions allowed. <laughs> uh, what about yourself, Nat? What have you been playing? Uh, I, I've been super, super duper slack. So like <laughs> a little bit of um, shining force stuff. A little bit of um, mini metro because I'm very aware that I missed competing in the Midi Metro Comp at PAX last year yeah. because yeah. I forgot to register. Like, I just rocked up and I yeah. forgot that you had to do that registering thing and then they didn't have any places left and I was like, oh. oh. But I came third last year. Come but, on, I should well, by default be enrolled. In fairness, yeah. people get there honor. early to put their names down. Yeah, yeah that's like, true. No, no, I understand how the system works. <laughs> it's I not, just completely forgot. This isn't some sort of rogue street fighter tournament <laughs> where you can just say, that's it, I'm in, and you put a dollar down or something. Yeah, you put your dollar down on the, <laughs> All very on the well screen, <laughs> lined up against everyone I'm up else's. next. Yep. Yeah, so I've been uh, hitting that up also because nearly every game on my phone requires data yep. and that game doesn't because um, I ran okay, out of nice. like I was down to like 50 meg for like my last week on my phone um, so I had the yep. mobile data off most of the time so um, that's why I was just running from Wi-Fi hotspot to Wi-Fi hotspot oh to play. yeah <laughs> oh man that would be a great idea for a game 
Oh, imagine if it was like a stealth game. Yeah, yeah, you got to try and yeah. like get in the Wi-Fi. And if you're like outside of that zone too for too long, like you become disconnected. Yes. Oh. Or you get found. And anyone else playing is like, well, they're out. And they should yeah. have hidden under this Wi-Fi box like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's an interesting concept. Anyway, um, other than that, I mentioned on the live stream on the weekend, just been watching the heck out of Scrubs. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with Scrubs. It's a good show. Although I, I do need to watch Umbrella Academy. Yes. Ben told yes. me I need Everyone to watch it. Everyone needs yeah. to watch Umbrella Academy. told me Academy. I need to watch it. Yeah. It, is, so it, is, it is very good. It's, that is on yeah. the list. That is definitely on the list. But yeah, I need, I need to play more Apex because I need to get good. Um, I I know it sounds silly, but the best way to, to get good is to just jump in and play a few random games. And you'll probably die a lot, but you, you get better. Yeah. And it has that awesome reward system where you feel like you're making progress because you level up. Even if you like don't actually do any damage, well, but you stay alive. I don't know. You could like have your first game and get like no score because you don't actually do anything. Now, just staying alive like <laughs> long enough gets you a decent gets you a decent amount of XP. Just I know look. from experience. It's yeah. all about the participation. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Rewarding yeah. participation. Yeah, have yeah, a ribbon. That's yeah, that's it. You mm. made a drop. Congratulations. <laughs> Yay. You've used the ping. Yeah. Yeah, well, and that's it. Like, you, you can do a lot of mm. helping out, but uh, what, we'll, uh, what we'll have to do is sort of try and get to try and get a few Earths into a game, help you out. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. Apparently, my friends want to play Overwatch, so that would be really good. That would be very, very good. Mm. Are you no playing worries. on PC or, like, PS4? Uh, I can play on both. I, I just need to delete stuff off my PS4 to be able to play it on my PS4, and I haven't made that commitment yet. Yeah, but every, everything but Spider-Man. Everything but Spider-Man can yeah. go. I had this thing where what about I like Red Dead. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, Red Dead. Yeah, I've got to like I take heaps of like photos and videos in games because I'm like, oh, that's great. Oh, that's an awesome shot. Oh, oh, that funny thing happened in the game. I've got to take video of that. Totally going to cut that together and make a gameplay video. Yeah, never happens. I, I did that with Hollow Knight a little bit. I got up to like the City of Tears where it's like always raining, and I thought I'll just stand here at this window watching the rain. Photo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is an even better window. Photo. Photo. Yep. Yep. And then you realise that you've got like 25 gig of just media yeah. that you've not used, and you're like, yeah, okay, should probably get rid of that. Probably. Yeah. So, yes, I will make room if you're on PlayStation. Yes, uh, I grabbed it last week, but I haven't had a chance to play it because cool. Hollow Knight. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's very fair. It's one um, of those games where I really wish they could do cross-play, uh, like cross-platform, but mm. I think it would be exceedingly unfair to non-PC players. Yeah, because... I've heard there's a definite difference between the two, like, yeah. and... Like it, like decidedly. So if you play on one and then the other, you notice the difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. That is very fair. Have you guys been uh, watching anything lately? Um, I I finished watching Umbrella Academy, mm. which is great, and you should watch. Mm -hmm. um, Dumb. Gosh, not much else. No. It's yeah. It's been real boring. Um. Yeah. No. I, I've also been watching Umbrella Academy, and yeah. um. Uh, when I finished it, I was talking to a mate who said if I liked that, I should watch Misfits. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Um, um, guy who plays Klaus is in Misfits yeah, as well. Yeah, that's it. So I'm like halfway through season two of Misfits now. So. Yeah. I, I think I stopped after season two because like, some of the main characters aren't in season three. Yeah, I've, I've also heard that two is a good spot to stop. <laughs> so. oh, yeah. That's we'll a bit see. sad. We'll see. Oh. But uh, yeah, it's all on Netflix, so it's kind of just when I'm home and I've got uh, got a few minutes spare just chuck it on throw an episode on did yeah. you guys see the Shazam trailer I did the, the new one yeah it, just got dropped this morning I think it, it looks fun it does like that's more than anything That that's what DC movies have been missing just fun yeah yeah it was interesting because um, Ben and I were talking about this the other day of where uh, Marvel for a long time have been subverting the norms of 
superheroes being serious and stuff. Yeah. To the point now where you're expecting them not to be serious, so yeah. they're not really subverting the, anything anymore. But DC, DC was serious, and then all of a sudden we get Aquaman. Yeah, which was fun. Yeah, so it much just, fun. It was so dumb and so much fun. Like, yeah. it, it's a space opera under the sea. <laughs> That's all it is. Yeah, under the sea. <laughs> <laughs> um, it even had crabs, and one of them was singing, I assume. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, Shazam looked really interesting. Um, I was trying to work out what that main actor was from. He's but... from Chuck. Oh, Chuck, of course. Yeah. He's also in the second and third Thor movies. He's one of the Warriors 3. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Now I know. The blonde one with the... Like yeah. the, the one who's not the fat guy or the guy with the mace. Or the Asian one. Yeah, I'll, I'll let you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's the swashbuckler. There you yes, go. yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, I was getting very like big vibes from it. Mm. Like Tom Hanks could have played this character if it was like ah, if it was like thirty, 30 years, years ago. ago yeah. yeah, it's just it's superhero big. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. very much, very much. So, uh, looking forward to that a yeah. lot. I think I think like they've cottoned on to the fact that super not every superhero has to be dark like Batman. Yeah, like, you can have fun. And the cool thing is if you actually have contrasts within the same universe, yeah. it works really well. Especially if they meet later on and Batman's like, what is this? Yes. Primary colours? I think that's, <laughs> that's the funny thing though about DC is like, realistically, you have a look at their their lineup, and Batman is the only... He's the odd man out. Yeah. Except they've kind of like stylized all of their movies yeah. on his aesthetic... Uh, up until yeah, you said yeah. Um, Everything is just Aquaman. like dark and gritty, and like has a great filter over it, and just and like you, you don't need that with Superman. Everyone should be happy. Superman turns up, you know. Yeah, hope. Yeah. You know, the big yeah. S means yeah. hope. Big S. Everyone's like, oh, thank God, Superman's yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he'll so save us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I. I'm just really interested to see how it's gone, gonna go because, like, pretty much what the last 15 years has been all Batman movies for DC. Yeah. Like, that, they haven't done anything else. So that's, that's okay because, like, you know, they've been really good Batman movies. Yeah, yeah, like they haven't been bad Batman movies. Yeah, I like Nick's yeah. interpretation of that a bit more. Okay, so the Christopher Nolan ones have been not. Oh yeah, I mean, obviously. Great look, movies, look, yeah. like plot holes are great. <laughs> Um. <laughs> but where was the pit? How did he get back so fast when everyone thought he was dead? <laughs> um, so, yeah, really excited to see that. I, I'm yeah. Just... Uh, are you excited for other Captain Marvel as well then? Yeah, but it, it's really interesting seeing that like contrast because there's been obviously a lot of criticisms about her coming across as being too serious for yep. Marvel. So it's going to be really interesting to actually get our hands on that property and see yeah, like if, how if that's they going to can, turn out. Like, I don't want to say tar it with the Marvel brush, but to have that sense of humour built into it. Mm. Mm, yeah. And I think no, they I'm, can. Like, it's going to be in that universe with all those characters that have the sense of humour. So even potentially yeah. if she's she's the Batman, yeah. it could work really well. Because yeah. I think they might have lost that along the way like even like characters that do play it quite straight still become the you know like Drax yeah. like or even he's very like, straight but he's still become the butt of the joke or the joke a lot of yeah, times yeah. Yeah. like uh, Captain America is like the the like straight man to all of the other humorous characters yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he's the serious one he's eyes on the mission and then Thor's like you know throwing mugs around yeah. and yeah like you know this is my friend Tree. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you read a bit more comics than me. Have you read any of the Thor stuff? Um, I read the Straczynski Thor stuff. Oh, yeah. Which was really cool. Does he, like, tr- typically is Thor a serious character in comics? Yeah, well, that that whole story arc is him rebuilding Asgard. Like, yeah. there's some humour to it. Like, the, the whole premise is Asgard reappears on Earth in Oklahoma, and they're like, hey, you can't have your, you know, magical castle here. And so it starts floating, like above Oklahoma like right. maybe yep. like a, a couple of hundred meters because why not yeah but he's also pulled up a whole bunch of farmland so he's like the the farmers are hey can you pay us for the land he's like all right I'll tell you what 
whatever you can take from my treasure hold, it's yours. And so they're like, get the ladder! <laughs> and they're driving off in their pickup truck, coming back with friends. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, like, there's some humour to it, but yeah. at the same time, it's a, like a very serious. Okay. okay. Hmm. I, th- I think it's not until sort of... I think the movies influence the comics a lot more than they'd sort of like to admit. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That yeah, makes I, sense. I have heard that, that uh, the... At least the Iron Man yeah. um, comics, when they first came out with the first movie, yep. the jump in comic sales from uh, just from the, the first Iron Man movie was such a big um, yeah, he, increase he, that it was just like, okay, yeah, we're onto a winner here, and that's with movie number one, right? Yeah. Well, that was... Um, I remember listening to a podcast that wasn't even supposed to be like the one that kicked off the universe. They were like, "Oh, the Incredible Hulk will do it," mm. and uh, the Edward Norton one, and it didn't. No, but yeah. they were like, "All right, Iron Man, yay!" I'm yep. so sad. That's such like a huge ne- Edward M- Norton mark. Like yeah. everything he's been in ever. I'm like, "Oh yeah, he's in that movie. Yes, I'll watch it. <laughs> I'll love it." And then that not so much. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. M- movie crush. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it, was oh, be- yeah. it was better than the Eric Banner Hulk. Yeah, no, that, that, is, yeah. that is true. Look, it's funny, though, because, like, looking at Eric Banner, you're like, yeah, he should be good. It was just not the right script and not the right yeah. tone. And well, I, I think, like, for me, Edward Norton is what Bruce Banner should be. He should just be a nervous wreck most of the time. Yep. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, absolutely. That's it. Mark Ruffalo yeah. is pretty amazing. Mark Ruffalo is Bruce Banner. Yeah. Like, yeah. you can't. Like, if only they'd done that from the start, you know? Yeah. Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, we might take a break if that is cool with you, Jens. Yeah. yeah. Um, and when we come back, we can talk. I think you guys wanted to talk a little bit about board games. A little bit about board games. A couple of things, yeah. And I uh, just want to talk about some stuff that's coming up this month. Oh, yeah. Because... Yep. March is going to be big. Yeah, and March, April March to date hasn't been really much special but uh, in fairness March, it's five days in yeah no no so but by the time this launches it'll yeah. be uh, it'll little, be six days in. in yeah maybe seven maybe seven depending <laughs> how slack I am but uh, yeah we'll, uh, we'll see right. you in a bit guys yeah cool hello and welcome back to the podcast Um. Where are we at t- today, Nat? We uh, we forgot to mention it earlier. Nah, we didn't forget. We were waiting strategically after we had our break. Yeah, that's sorry, that's that's what I what I meant. Because we just had some amazing fries and sweet potato fries this time, while you, uh, gents, are enjoying some drinks as well. Yes, I am. Yeah. Um, we had the lovely Harry's Bar. Um, join us every second Tuesday for a pint and some yummy foods. As always, their Tuesday special is uh, fifteen dollars for. Uh, pretty good rump with a drink. Yes. So come and join us for that. Um, really nice weather today, like 24, so it's not too hot, not too cold. And uh, well, get the it's, lovely it's, breeze from the balcony bar. Yeah, it's, it's perfect, you know, have a beer with mates weather, which yeah. is it's, really it feels... anything from about 3 degrees to 47. <laughs> it it feels very can... after work atmosphere. Yeah, 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 for sure. yeah it's great. It's, good. it's very good. Um, so we were talking about lots of things in the break as well, but one thing I think we need to uh, j- jump straight on to grab the momentum for is uh, Pokemon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There, there's, yeah. There's, uh, if, if, if you've been living under a rock, um, there's been an announcement of the next generation of Pokemon games. Um, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. And not the fake news Pokemon Gun. Well, I was no. I was going to say, like, you know, apparently Spain is it Spain that's getting a Pokemon gun? No, no, no one's Nowhere's, getting Pokemon. No one's gun. getting Pokemon gun. It's terrible. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah. I, want, I wonder why they don't like guns <laughs> in games for kids. But but fighting monsters is fine. Yeah. Like, well, not only fighting monsters, but you know, capturing them ag- against their will, and then forcing them to compete. In yeah, a, I, essentially oh. Mortal Kombat style tournament. Oh, I know. I can't oh, wait. It, yeah, I'm it, looking it, forward to it. It's better than Pokemon Go, where you turn your unwanted captured Pokemon into candy. Mm, <laughs> no, candy. you send them away to the professor, and they send candy back. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, soil and green is some people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very keen to see, uh, I guess, more about this because um, I, I've played most of the Pokemon games now and um, I always get super excited about the starters. Um, I know, Nick, you're uh, very keen on the new water starter. Oh, yeah, Sobble. Sobble. I just... As it evolves, I want it to either cry more or cry less, and I don't know which way I want it to go. <laughs> less, cry less. No, it makes me so sad. If it's attack, then yeah. like, you know, then all of his water guns just straight out of the eyes. Maybe they'll like have a new type of just like you know sadness. Sad. <laughs> oh no! I don't oh, like God, any I've of got this. an angry type. <laughs> That is so terrible. Yep. Yeah. That's... No. Look, uh, no, an angry type came in last generation with um, what was his name? The fire starter. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, Incineroar. The, Incineroar. The, yes. The Pokemon that goes from being fire to having a heel turn and becoming a wrestler and getting <laughs> yeah. dark type. Yeah. And a cool belt. Yeah. I did really appreciate. He was amazing. Yeah. I did really appreciate the meme that was going around where they had them all um, evolving into fighter type. Yeah. Just all of the, like, just muscle man <laughs> poses. Just, oh. I, I really hope that uh, Score Bunny doesn't get fighting type, but I'm just worried it's going to happen. Oh, they're gonna go muscle another fight. They're going to go another fire fighting. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping for maybe fire psychic or fire fairy. I, I can see maybe a rabbit type going down that path, but yeah. What if it just stayed straight fire and didn't get a second type? Have they done that for any of the starters? Yeah. Um, like, I mean, recently, I should uh, say. No. No, not recently. <laughs> well, Blastoise is just water. Yeah, I think after Gen 1, though, I'm pretty sure that every, of them, every one of them has gone um, dual type. Dual type, but yeah, that's all right. Uh, I'm personally looking forward to um, is it Grokey the yeah the monkey yeah mm -hmm. I've always preferred uh, picking leaf type Pokemon over the uh, the fire or the water mm. um, you know all the way back to Gen One so oh, yeah. he looks mm. very chill yeah. like he looks yeah. like the Brory Pokemon <laughs> and almost a bit like I, I saw him as a sloth just like happy smiling yeah, just chill a little bit of koala mixed in being oh, high yeah. on eucalyptus just like oh, huh? yeah. Mm. Chill. You know, I can I can see that. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that makes me more or less likely to uh, to pick him, but yeah. Yeah. Um, um, oh, you go. I was gonna say that uh, I'm I'm hoping that they don't do um, what they did with Gen Six because I can I can sort of see it, but uh, Gen Six uh, Pokemon starters you had like basically a fighter, a wizard, and a rogue. And I can almost see them doing the same thing again because the water type is again like sort of stealthy. Mm. And I'm just, I'm, I'm seeing it. You're going to have like a grass type fighting massive oh, ape well, gorilla. What if it's like a barbarian? They just go different classes. Okay. And it's like, uh, we'll go like a bard, a monk and a barbarian. So the the rabbit is a monk because he likes to run everywhere and he's got like flaming kick feet. Yeah, okay. And the um, mm -hmm. uh, the the monkey you, you like banging that stick in the trailer. So he's yeah. the barbarian. That's his club. And then yeah. um, the sad lizard who can turn invisible after doing his attacks. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah I'll pay that. Yeah. I can, yeah. I can see That's that. This is different classes. Or later <laughs> on they'll multi class. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> multi class madness. Interesting. So you guys are already pretty certain of what what you're going to pick. Yeah. You're not going to yeah. hang out for the evolutions first. Oh, I, look, that's always the killer. But I've I've got a, like a crying chameleon, so I'm <laughs> going with that one. Yeah. yeah. Just, I, I I always try and pick before I see the evolutions. Yep. Oh, really? Yeah. Just cemented in from the start. Yep. Um, um, I'm I'm not big on spoilers in games and. I guess part of me is like, yeah, there's going to be spoilers. I'm going to find out before this one comes out. So I've sort of, I've made my decision. I've picked what I want. Yep. And it's either going to be amazing or I'll regret my life choices. I, I reckon it'll be. You've picked a grass monkey. It's going to look awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, I think and that's so. it. I, I think so. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, I like. Did you guys play the last one, like uh, Sun and Moon, at all? Mm, I'm yes. so not up to date. I'm I'm really hoping that Sword and Shield sort of follow a very similar like. Uh, pattern where it's not all about hey there are eight gyms you beat all of the gyms and then you go off and be fight like the the elite four because that one had a much more of a story element to mm. it of mm. hey there's an evil organization who are trying to research multi-dimensional pokemon also yeah. while you're here this equiv- is this is coming of age trial that you can do yeah and and like the spoiler alert i guess um the team rocket equivalent in the last generation were actually not that bad. No, they were just a gang. They were just like misguided youths. Yeah, exactly, yeah. They they needed their own trainers. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Yeah, and, you know, it's set in Pokemon UK, so it, it's... Yeah. As long as you can just go exploring places and it's not a case of, all right, here's Starter Town, here's town number two. If it's like, hey, I'm just going to go off wandering that way. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, have you guys heard anything about Yokai? Watch or played any of Yokai? Uh, I've s- I played the demo of it, actually, yeah. the first one. The the second game that came out last year, um, there's a it's set in America. Yeah. Well, part of the game is set in America. Yeah. And um, in the version in Japan, the city's Texas, but in the Western version, they didn't call it Texas. They yeah. called it, like, barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll have and to then, ask my son about that. He's mad on yokai. So. Okay, yeah, so I kind of wonder if they have to do anything. Like, I've never thought about it before, if they've had to do anything like that for Pokemon, where it's just like, nah, like... I think it's just, like, it. subtle nods is, like, the yeah. most that they'll do. Like, one of them had, like, basically the Eiffel Tower in the centre of the city. Um... And that was a gym unto itself. So it was like, oh, is this France or is it, you know... It's pokey France. Poker France, yeah, (laughs) where the bad guy was a fashion designer. (laughs) That's hilarious. That is is perfectly Pokemon and and pokey France. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) You pretty much just put the word pokey in front of, like, anything and it just... That's what it is. It fits into the universe there. Yeah. Yeah. That is interesting. Yeah, Yeah, no, I'm super excited for it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll definitely get it. I know that uh, I'll probably um, I'll probably get either sword or shield, and then my kids will get the other one. But uh, yeah. then they'll fight over which one to get. So. Well, let them decide first, because either way, you'll still get your grass monkey. Yeah, and I'll uh, I'll be able to trade with them. So mm. uh, I just with, with names like sword and shield, I really want to see what like the legendaries are, because it looks like a sword dog and a shield dog, and. Either way, it's going to be amazing. What was the name of the... There Wasn't there a sword and shield yeah, yeah, Pokemon? Yeah. He um, started out as a... I think... Oh God, was it one sword and then a sword and a shield and then, like, a sword in a scabbard holding a shield and every time yeah. he attacked, he would swap from, like, attack to defense? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm maybe assuming that... he'll turn up. Oh, so I'm assuming he'll turn <laughs> up again. He'll just, like, watch from the sidelines. <laughs> he'll become the new sad lizard. <laughs> it was like the Professor Oak replacement. It's just this Pokemon. That, um, well, I wanted to talk um, other than Pokemon, obviously, no. but uh, I, I did want to talk about a bunch of stuff coming up this month because, um, yeah, probably the last couple of weeks have been uh, a little light on with some releases. And um, No, there's been releases, just not things we care about. I think it's okay. been more news light. Yeah, maybe news light. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, you're right. We've had Anthem. I don't <laughs> care. Um, We've had Apex, though, and you do care about that. Yeah, but that's uh, been out for probably a month now, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it's it's a battle royale, so it'll be around until it kills Fortnite. Yeah, well, and it's I think it's working on that yeah. quite well. Well, 50 million players. For Apex? Mm-hmm. Yeah, wow. it's done well. Yeah. Hit 50 mil. Okay. I, like, I can't even contemplate in my head that there are 50 million people on the planet. Like, I know there's billions, but in my head, like, once you get past, like, Adelaide size, I'm like, what is it even? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. They stop having, they become background characters, they just stop having faces, and it's just the shape of a person yes. with some hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silhouette. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, what's coming up, Ben? What do we have to look forward to? So, um, the uh, Total War Three Kingdoms is coming up. <gasps> yeah. I'm so bad at Total War, but my God, that sounds amazing. Yeah, I'm 
Yeah. So yeah, I have. Um, I forgot like about that. Both of the like Total <laughs> War Warhammer is on my Steam wish list, and it's like, hey, it's cheap, and it's like, but I'm terrible at those games. Yeah. Mm. No, I, I am. I'm bad at those games, and I'm surprised that um, Mike hasn't like been reminding you because I'm assuming that that would be something that's heaps up his alley. It is, but he's in that stage where he every gaming decision he's going, but I have so many games already. Yeah. So he's talking himself out of a lot of purchases no, at that's, the moment. That's, that's fair. Um, that is fair. Plus he's got, you know, a real life Warhammer tournament to, to prepare for. Lots yeah. of oh, yeah. Can of pain, you get so. on him to paint his stuff? Like <laughs> he, I know he, he had is. a hobby day the other day, but Yeah, no, no. Chop, he definitely chop. is. He's he's on it. Don't worry. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get on him it. as well because I need to get my stuff painted. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, well, it's it's more important that you harass him than Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Invest your time wisely. Yeah. Um not really my sort of thing, but uh, Devil May Cry five uh. is is also coming out and I know there's a lot of people that like it. I haven't played Devil May Cry since probably the first or second one and You didn't play the third one that had the best weapon in the entire game that was an electric guitar scythe and one of his main attacks was just a kick ass solo? No, I didn't, didn't. Yeah, you should get on that. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so maybe I maybe I need to pick up this one as well. Um, but uh, I guess the one that I'm really hanging out for is <clears throat> Division Two. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, now, way, way, way back in you know the the dawn of D1 DLC, I reckon probably one of the first giveaways that uh, that the uh, the podcast did was a copy of the original division um and because i wasn't actually part of the podcast at the time i was lucky enough to win that competition nicely done sir. i was very happy with that but um i did not expect to enjoy the game as much as i did i thought cool free game i'll I'll have a have a play of it and um it was probably one of the most enjoyable experiences of the the year um when i got it I've played the beta for the, the Division 2 and I'm very, very happy with it because it, it it looks like it's got all the stuff that I liked in the first one with a few UI updates, a new storyline, a new base of operations, a new setting and you know what? I'm very keen to do, see how this goes. Do they have drones in the first game? So I know they feature in the second game. Like You no, can get so like your own drones that fight people. Uh, if they did put them in, they were in a DLC later in yeah. the, in the game. But I don't remember them being in in the base game. Um, and I played I played through the the whole single player stuff up to the point of pretty much now you you go into the PvP uh, area. Yep, and went cool. I'm done. Um, I know they released a whole bunch of extra content for people that weren't keen on that, so you could basically keep grinding and leveling up and getting more gear and yeah it's it's a standard looter shooter sort of like thing but done in a very specific style but um well i'm, I'm keen i'm very keen mm. to to have a look at this one yeah i know um, jake mentioned on the on the weekend on the facebook live event he's been getting into the early access as well and yeah. loving it so fingers crossed it's a good one yeah lots but, and lots and lots of content this is what we want games yeah. coming out give well, us content <laughs> i think um i know uh i we we have mentioned anthem um and uh for those of you who haven't seen our uh, our facebook live um from sunday jake was mentioning that he's played about 15 hours of anthem and at that point he felt that it was starting to get a bit grindy and he could really see that there wasn't a lot to the game i've played the beta for a couple of hours and I did not feel like that was the case um, now it was probably only maybe two or three hours worth of, of gameplay thus far but I can see that there's a lot of a lot of depth to the game and a lot of stuff to do so I'm I'm cautiously optimistic because you know I unfortunately the gaming industry has made me cautiously optimistic for <laughs> any new releases anything that's triple a yeah any any triple a releases uh, I have to you know be be a little bit hesitant with but I'm I haven't pre-ordered but I'm pretty confident that I will pick this up on launch there you go um other than that um there's a 
couple of other titles that are coming out. So we've got, um, where is it? Uh, so Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Um, I've seen a lot of um, a lot of news on this one online. It's not, again, it's not really my style of game, but uh, I don't know a lot of people are talking about it. I will probably wait until uh, till I've seen some. Uh, Seen some stuff online, maybe watch a few streams or uh, watch you some like YouTube. a let's play, yeah. like the first bit, and then just yeah. see if it's for you or not. Pretty much, yeah. Um, and then um, we've got Yoshi's Crafted World on the Switch, which um, it it's going to be good. It, it's just going to be super charming, yeah. Because that's yeah. Well, every Yoshi game is that, yeah. yeah. Like, and that's it. Like, I will either get it for myself or I'll probably get it for my kids and um, you know what either way I'll play it even if I buy it for my kids because they go to bed early so that's good <laughs> and it's a switch you can literally take it away from them <laughs> have you ever tried to take a switch away from children <laughs> how do you think I got mine <laughs> <laughs> cool so um, that's a pretty good release list no I'm, I'm I'm pretty happy with it as I said it's it's uh, it's kind of um what do you say? Like back ended towards the uh, the second half of of the month, um, with um, like Total War comes out in a couple of days, and then um, Divisions on the fifteenth, I think, and the rest of it's all like almost towards the end of the month. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still keen. Surprised you didn't mention Dead or Alive. I didn't mention it because I, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. And you're not into fighting games. I'm not. <laughs> and I I feel the Dead or Alive franchise lost a lot of credibility with um, the... Physics Dead, engine? I was going to say Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball back on the original Xbox. Um, Man, I have... I loved that game. I loved, <laughs> like, getting the right gifts for the right girl to get them to like me so they'll be my partner and, like, playing beach ball. Like, I have a lot of, like, connection to that game and I think it owns what it is, which is what I really like. Like, I have no... <laughs> it's I a have, dating sim built around a volleyball yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, like, generally speaking with Dead or Alive, like, they've never said this game is for kids or mm. something. You this know? is for teenage uh, boys. It's It's been quite transparent what it's about and who it's for, and I have no problem with that. Like, it, 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 there should be games for everybody, and this is... Yeah. I mean, you know, there, there's a line, yeah. but I don't think this crosses the line. Yeah, well, the problem no. is that, it, I guess, it's no longer a AAA game nowadays. The Dead or Alive franchise is a double D game. Oh. Uh, I, yeah. Is that, oh. yeah. I, yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah. You'll, you'll pay it, Nick. You'll pay <laughs> yeah, it. I'll, I'll pay that one. <laughs> I think the other problem as well is there are more serious and I suppose more complete fighting games. Yeah. Oh yeah. That sure. it has to compete with. I mean, well, it's it's Mortal got its Kombat niche. Eleven's coming out later this That's year, true. and uh, I'm super keen for that. Yeah. Yeah, like I think Tekken. Yeah. Did you say Tekken? No. 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 The Tekken, the new Tekken's coming out soon as well. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, like, lots nice. of fighting game action coming up. I just like that there's options for different kinds of people, and I still am hanging out for getting into some Soul Calibur because I haven't done that yet, yeah. but I really would like to, especially with the Geralt coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no I, I... Or maybe already come and I just haven't paid enough attention. I saw that, and I... I immediately said, yeah, yeah, and no, I'll totally get into that, and I won't, because I'm not massive on fighting games, and when it comes to fighting games, pretty much for myself, I stick with the Mortal Kombat franchise. Oh, come on, you're totally into uh, Smash. Yeah. Smash isn't a fighting game. <laughs> Smash yeah. is a party game. See, I put it down as a... fighting element. I put it down as an adventure game, because I've only been playing through, like, the World of Light and World of Darkness yeah, stuff. I, yeah. I, I had a lot of fun with that, yeah. Yeah, well, there you yeah. go. Well, uh, as, as soon as you unlock Snake and your remote missiles, that's it. That's all you need to do. <laughs> like, I don't care about any other character. Stand far away. That's, uh, that's why I liked um, Samus. Yep. Just missiles from across the other side yeah. of the map. Pew, pew, pew. See, I... I, I pretty much got Marth and then just did the side smash thing where you hit them right with the tip of the sword yep. and it just like they're gone nah. 
or a Game & Watch side smash and you just keep hoping for the 9. Yeah. It's instant KO. Yeah. See, I, like, when I first started playing Smash, I was like, oh, I'll play Link. He's cool. He seems super well-rounded. And I was like, no, I've got remote rockets now. I can juggle people in space. <laughs> yeah, it's very that's cool. fair. Uh, so kind of totally not segue. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't work out how to segue. That's right. Um, uh, you guys have both played Pandemic, haven't you? Yes. I mean, no, not Pandemic. I have Plague played Inc. Pandemic. Plague Inc. I also, I also played Plague Inc. This. Yes. Plague Inc. is the game I was talking about. Um, yes. This week, 20,000 people on the internet signed a petition to get um, the people who make Plague Inc. to include anti-vaxxers as a challenge in the game. So you might be like really close to a cure and they'll just be like, uh, nah, because it's a massive extra outbreak because people haven't been vaccinated. But yeah, they have guess what's back. <laughs> guess, guess who's back. All of the diseases that were eliminated. <laughs> Which is really like interesting that people have petitioned for that and then the, the people who made it are just like, oh yeah, sure, we'll add but, that in. Yeah, I suppose part of it as well is does that sort of highlight the, the social aspect, of, well yeah. not social, but the societal aspect of, hey, you should probably vaccinate or yeah. else, you know, this super virus that's been created in a video game will just <laughs> spread even further. Yeah. No, and is it, it like, it's... Um, I, I haven't played since the since the update, or I don't know if they've actually included it in an update recently. No, no, not yet. But um, They're building it right now. Oh, there you go. But uh, I did see this, and um, I actually spent a lot of time while I was traveling in January playing it, uh, playing Plague Inc., because it's, it's a good, fun game, um, and it doesn't require any connection to the internet to play it. Um, so, you know, your mobile's on flight mode and I'm stuck in a plane for 13 hours I'll try and wipe the world out with a killer disease because what else are you going to do really mm. yeah it sounds like a perfect game to play on a plane where you're yeah. trapped with like a whole lot of different people thinking about all the things that are being passed through the closed circuit air system yeah I did I did wonder <laughs> whether or not um, you know customs would look uh, strangely at me if I was playing it as I was going through the security <laughs> checkpoint. So yeah. Just I, uh, testing just, a few I, scenarios. Yeah, I just turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> You've done well, officers. You've managed to catch me playing this game. <laughs> it's totally not a simulation. Yeah. <laughs> just having flashbacks to... Uh, um, oh, God, my mind's gone blank now. What was that uh, Bruce Willis movie? Uh, 12, 12 Monkeys. Monkeys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, good times. Um, I know that you guys wanted to talk about... Oh, actually, Nick wanted to talk about something. Critical Role. Oh, yeah. Um, they. So, for those who don't know, it's a um, basically a Twitch show that's on their own channel, Critical Role, and it's like a bunch of voice actors who play D&D. Every week, it's great fun. Um, they're up to season two now. You can watch it all on YouTube. But they, because it's all voice actors, they actually launched a Kickstarter today that was, hey, we want to make an animated short. <gasps> yep, we're after like 750000 US dollars. And within like the first 40 minutes, they'd hit a million. And no last way. I checked, it was up to three and a half million. That's crazy. So they were asking for 75K and yeah, they got three mil. Yeah. And it's Whoa. day one of 45. What? Yeah. That's, that's insane. That's insane. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. And it's just, it's weird. Have you ever done that thing where, like, you watch a computer, like, defrag, and it's just super relaxing just to watch, like, the little things move across yeah, and yeah. just yeah. order itself? It's like that, like, watching the numbers just go up. Oh, yeah. Because okay. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll check on it again. Oh, yeah, that's jumped up another $1,000, 2000 10000 What? Yeah. <gasps> okay. That's uh, really no, that's, cool. That's it's insane. Great. So their stretch goals they were like alright well if we hit like a million we'll add another 22 minutes onto it and so now it's up to 88 minutes <laughs> and they yeah I think they were joking about hey we may as well just make a season out of it yeah so, well I think you kind of get to the point where you've got all the resources of the team yeah. there so we'd yeah, absolutely. And they've got the animation studio behind. They've got uh, Titmouse, who do like the Venture Brothers and like Mike Tyson Mysteries. Oh, nice! Actually, animating the whole thing for wow, them. Wow, that's yeah, that's pretty good. That that's is really insane. cool. So that's that's some, I suppose, tabletop news there of the the, the plucky little D and D game that could. That's yeah. really awesome. Yeah. Um, I'm 
I guess speaking of tabletop, I um, had a uh, a gaming day on the on the weekend and played um, Twilight Imperium again. Which yeah, uh, I I don't I'm sure I've probably yeah, talked about yeah. it before on on the on the podcast because I I love it. It's amazing. Um, unfortunately, I uh, wasn't able to you know claim victory this time, but uh, you know consistently. Um, kept the same score I've kept for like every other game I've played so I'm not improving but I'm not going backwards I guess it's yeah. a good thing right yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so it's it's mostly just like empire building but space empire I'm guessing yeah it's kind of imagine like a Civ game in space yep but it's a board game yep it's pretty much that's Twilight Imperium yeah and like Civ you have to like set time aside for it yeah, so uh, the the game itself, we usually set aside like a nine till five sort of thing, and yep. then like the first game kept going till about seven because we were still learning it. Um, but, you know, we were done by three this this time yeah. around, so pretty happy with that. Very cool. Impressive. I need to get into board gaming again. I haven't played anything in such a long time. Yeah, I think the last thing I played was Pandemic Legacy, oh. but it got to that point where we had. Like invisible zombies <laughs> throughout all of like the like the Red Asia region. So yep. like every game we played from then on was whoever could do like the free quarantine. Their job was just to sort of travel around and build a, a border. Yeah. So that nothing could get out of that while everyone else dealt with the rest of the world. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. I, well, I'm I'm playing through uh, Pandemic Legacy Season Two with a few friends. Yep. And we're I think we're up to the last two games of that. So. Um, we've got plans to go away for the Easter weekend, and I think that's going to be... That's when you're finishing it off. Yeah, we're just going to finish it off. Uh, then, which are you good. guys on top of it? Like, have, have you managed the, the crises, or are you sort of on the back foot a little? I think, yeah, well, I'm, we, we're on we're on top of it. Yep. Um, season one, we... Uh, so playing with the same group of people f- that we played season one with, and season one, we lost a few cities... Um, but it was manageable. Um, season two is we haven't lost any of the cities yet, which is yep. really surprising. Um, but we kind of we're concerned because we feel like there's a lot more game to play, and there's not a lot more time. Yeah. So I'm I'm concerned that we're not gonna. Not going to make it to our goals before before the game ends, but we'll um, see. I think most importantly, though, what have you named your diseases mm. or your outbreaks? This That's is the best part the most, of pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Most so thing. in season two, you don't name your um, uh. your pandemics. You name the like the havens. Um, so there's basically these off, um, you know, in the middle of the ocean havens that you've got that you set up and off the top of my head we've got new new york um uh what is it sequest dsv (laughs) yeah that's hilarious and um i can't remember what the name of the last one is but uh no you give end your points to sequest yeah Yeah. Yeah. dsv done yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. um (laughs) But yeah, you know, we're, we're as I said, we're we're quite doing quite well, and I'm I'm quite happy with our progress. Haven't lost any cities yet, but it's it's come close a yeah. few times. So had to like send the medic in just to clear up around it so it doesn't outbreak. Or yeah, so it's it, season two plays very differently to yeah. to season one, um, where you're not trying to clear disease cubes more you're trying to add resources because you start the game assuming that the whole world is screwed yep and there is no connection and nobody can actually l- survive so you're, you're actually providing supplies to people um, in the form of I guess medical supplies and that sort of stuff and when they run out of supplies they become infected yep so it is it's a I guess it's the reverse of you know, you're adding, regular pandemic. Yeah, where, vanilla pandemic. Adding the plague cubes. This is, we've got enough supplies to last for two more outbreaks, one more outbreak. Oh no, we just 
like you Air, know, airlift everything in. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Yeah, and then you start doing that thing where you're like, all right, whose turn is next? What can you do? We need you to do this so that I can do this, and then I'll do this. Yeah. And yeah. then we should be fine for another turn. Yep, pretty much. Mm-hmm. That's, that's yeah, that's how most games end up. Yep. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's very, very enjoyable for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, I did want to talk about one more thing, talking about March releases. Yep. Uh, Mars Underground is being released very soon. It'll be in between this podcast and the next podcast, I think on the 15th. Um, so I don't know if Nick would have heard about Mars Underground. No, t- tell me about it. Uh, so it's a game made in Canberra. Mm-hmm. So you've got to get it anyway because it's Australian. Yep. Um, <laughs> but um, it's a game where you play this little character and he wakes up goes throughout his day it's like a bit uh, 16 bit 16 bit yep. yeah um, top down but as you go through your day you get like so one of the first things you do is speak to your sister because you get in the way of her watching TV and it gives you two dialogue options except one of them's grayed out so you only get to pick one and you go through your day and then yep. you get back into bed and then you wake up and it groundhog days oh okay and so then as you go through the next day you can do different choices the extra dialogue options pop up yeah um, but it is just really silly and fun with the things that come up and there's a free demo out oh, as cool. well so so if you google Mars Underground Games yep. a Mars Underground Game and it's by a group called Moloch Media which somebody was telling me is something to do with Star Wars that I completely missed the reference Moloch is it Moloch or Minoch? No, Moloch. No, Moloch. No, I got no idea. I'm not a no. Star Wars kind no. of guy. I'm no, sorry. I'm, I'm so I'm, sorry. I'm, no, I, probably... I'm with you on this one. I'm not massively into the Star Wars universe. Like, I like it. Like, scoundrel for life, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, that is coming as well. So, really keen to get my hands on that. And I'll probably be talking about that mm. next time we. Yeah. Uh, we catch up for sure. So it, with that, I guess, is there like, like, I suppose with the Groundhog Day reference, is there a way to Groundhog Day it so you actually get to the end and time stops repeating or is it like multiple well, endings based on... We don't know yet. Yeah. Okay. So, and even in the demo itself, it's not like on rails. So like um, Jordan and I both played through the demo and yeah. we had completely different things happen. Like we encountered different people yeah. and um, just completely random randomness mm. like I, I I died and something yeah. different happened but he huh. didn't die yeah, anyway so okay. it's just it's one of those things where I think you're going to find lots of things in hidden corners yeah, and lot, lots of replayability in there as well yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. what what, uh, what platforms are it on uh, PC definitely I'm going to Google to find out what else because no, no, I that's, feel that's like right. I should know that off the top of my head but I can't remember no no PC is good like I have a PC <laughs> and, that works um, mostly. I promise you, it will work with this game. Yeah, no, I. Um, it's interesting seeing what so I guess what uh, consoles, if anything, games do come out on nowadays. As you mentioned, yeah, I'm, I'm liking the, like the whole indie games mm. selection that's on the Switch. There, yeah, indie games seem to be coming quite popular on, well, on the Switch. Store, speaking of so. that, I forgot. I've also been playing through War Groove. Oh, have War you guys Groove, seen yes. this or played this I've at all? I've been playing it. It's so I, good. I've heard of it. But it's I like Fantasy it Advance Wars. Yeah. And it okay. like as you play through it, like you unlock more and more characters in each like unlike Advance Wars, your character actually like can fight for you and generally has an ability. So like one of them can heal people, one of them sets up a um like a little area that your defenses increase, that sort of thing. And one of them is a dog. Yeah. Called Caesar. And when he fights people, he's got two minders who, like, he's a leader. Like, he's a leader character. He walks around and, like, when he goes to talk to people, his minder is like, oh, I think Caesar wants to go in there and save some people. <laughs> and so they'll go in and, like, when they fight people, they'll just, like, pull out, like, crossbows and shoot at them while he, like, chases his tail or he'll roll on the ground. And they're like, yeah, it's good work, sir. <laughs> That, it's that's really amazing. Good. Yeah, it's, oh, it's such a great game. It's so fun and just, like, has all these cool characters to it. Yeah, I wish I was better at it. Because uh, yeah, I rubbish get at, like, myself stuck on a lot of things and yeah. head bump myself against it for a while before I go, oh, that's what they wanted me to do. Oh. Yeah. I, just, I just started fighting like tree men and it's like, hey, you have to take these down with siege catapults. It's like, oh, that makes more sense than me sending knights after it. Yeah, well, and look, knights have swords. I could like hack them. Yeah. 
but the trebuchet just tears it apart. And it's like, oh, yeah, I'll just make sure they're in the right spot. And I just, yeah, I'm terrible at that sort of positioning. But as long as I can send my dog and his guard after people, I'm happy. Um, Sorry, just to flip back. Mars on ground. PC, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. Oh, I've got an Android. I can do that. Mm, yeah, like I, I love the idea of another phone game because, yeah. <laughs> especially because the weather's been so hot. Like I just haven't wanted to turn on the PC because it yeah. heats up the whole house. <laughs> so it's a it's a good option. I'll take it. Uh, if you gents are okay, we might wrap it up. Yeah, yeah no worries. I've been saying gents a lot tonight. I'll try to say that less. No, that's all right. Yeah. Okay. Well, you can you, you can. know not say it for the next two weeks while we take a break from recording. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you could come up with something else. We are going to be back on a date that is coming in the future, which will be. We will be, for sure. The 19th of March. Yeah, so. so yeah, definitely come and join us at the wonderful Harry's Bar for a drink and a rump and a whatever else you like to grab. Wow, that's terrible. Can recommend terrible. the sweet potato fries for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you, Ben. No worries. Thank you, Nat. And uh, thanks to Nick for coming along. Oh, well, thanks for having today. me, guys. It's no. been fun. Oh, I'm glad. I'll we'll have to have you back for sure. Oh, yes. That's all I want. <laughs> the invite. No worries. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see you next time, guys. Yeah. See ya.